Hey guys, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So it feels nice to finally be able to do my makeup how I would normally do it. If you've been keeping up with any of my Halloween videos, then you know what I am talking about. But I had to take a break from the, you know, spooky cutesy Halloween videos because Fenty Beauty released their holiday collection today and I learned my lesson after the launch so I went in store to get it it's right behind me here right right here in this bag so um, I didn't pick up everything but if you want to see my thoughts and how some of this works on the things I did pick up then just stay tuned now like I said Fenty Beauty released an entire collection with this whole galaxy theme an eyeshadow palette I believe two eyeliners and lip gloss and lipsticks the only thing that I picked up are all of the lip glosses and all of the lipsticks so this is going to be a lip swatching and review video this is one of the cosmic gloss lip glitters and this is one of the can't read hyper glitz lipsticks the lipstick is a whole lot smaller than I thought it would be um, but let me just to get into the claim so I can start putting these onto my lips and we can see how these work so for the cosmic gloss lip glitters let's see here these retail for $19 for 0.34 ounces, and it claims it is a limited edition glitter-packed lip gloss that delivers the ultimate triple threat of creamy color, glitter, and shine. Transform your lips, your look, and your world. The Cosmic Gloss Lip Glitter is a triple threat fusion of pigment, glitter, and gloss that takes sparkle to astronomical new heights. Each hue is packed with iridescent glitter and drenched in mirror-like shine for a mega dose of multi-dimensional shimmer in just one swipe. Okay, and now for the Hype Glitz lipsticks. These also retail for $19 each and it comes... Okay, yeah, so they also retail for $19 each, but these come with 0 0.045 ounces, which explains why they're so small. Um, this comes in four shades and the gloss also comes in four shades and this claims to be a limited edition metallic lipstick that's buildable to the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate jewel chrome finish. When the stars align, metal and cream collide in Starlight Hyper Glitz Lipstick. This shimmering lip color delivers the look and feel of your favorite lip balm dipped in liquefied jewels. Um, so it kind of looks like each of the lipsticks has a corresponding lip gloss to it. So in these swatches, I'm going to show you the lipstick on one side, the lip gloss on the other side, and then what they would look like combined with the two. All right, let's get into this. Okay, so those were all four of the lip glosses and the four lipsticks on my lips. I decided to leave this pairing on because it was the prettiest out of all of the combinations that I tried. So my thoughts on the lip glosses, I really do like the lip glosses. They remind me of the Becca Crystal Gloss. I did a video on that not too long ago. So if you like those, I'm, I'm feeling you're going to like these as well. Also, if you picked up the first gloss that she came out with, I feel like you're going to like these glosses as well because it's pretty much the same type of formula. It's just these have actual colors to them. I feel even that lip gloss has a little bit of glitter in it. I could be mistaken. It's been a while since I put it on. But um, I feel like it's that right type of gloss where it's, it's tacky enough where it's going to stay on your lips a little bit more. It's going to transfer, I mean it's gonna transfer, um, but it won't do it as badly as some lip glosses where it's literally gonna smear all over your face throughout the entire day. And I feel like the glosses will be great lip toppers as well. They do have that iridescent um, factor to them, so they are going to look differently. Wearing them just on their own and wearing them on top of other lipsticks, so I like that part about them. This one, which the name I can't see. Oh. oh. Astro, Astro Naughty, and this one, 
space suit are my two favorite of the lip glosses. I like all four of them, but these two I could definitely wear on their own. And now for the lipsticks. Let's just get out of the way. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the lipsticks. Like the lip glosses, they are going to transfer as well. They have a sheen finish to them, so they were going to transfer. Um, however, you know, sometimes sheen lipsticks, depending on how pigmented they can be, won't be that bad. For someone like me who has naturally dark lips, um, I've gotten away with sheen lipsticks. These I can't get away with, especially with the orange and the first lipstick that I tried on. You can still see my natural uh, lip tone through the lipstick and I, I did a couple of these like I did a lot of that and it's not like there's that much in it to be doing this every time that I put it on so the pigmentation isn't really there with the lipsticks they are extremely sheen and you know the whole Fenty Beauty idea is kind of like a natural whatever but that was just a little too natural for me I feel like the lipsticks could have had a little bit more pigmentation and um, with the lip gloss, you know, I like the whole iridescent glitter thing, you know, I can top it with other matte lipsticks if that's the type of look I'm going for, but it was just a little too metallic-y for me with the lipsticks on their own. Um, I wouldn't pair the lipsticks and the lip glosses, that's just doing a lot. And I would go easy with the lip gloss if you start packing it on since it is a pigmented lip gloss, you don't need that much of it. If you do start piling it on, it kind of starts to give you that spit type of feel on your lips with the lip gloss on its own especially on top of the lipstick but for $19 I'm just not really seeing it with these lipsticks uh, especially the orange one let me just do a quick swatch here that is the orange one Ooh, can you see that on the back of my hand Let's see here This is the purple one. And that's the purple one on the back. It just, it's a little too much building for me. You know, I get it. The whole collection has a galaxy theme to it, which isn't the most practical, you know, makeup theme that there is. Um, and I am someone who likes unusual colors, but when I'm pairing the metallic -y, unusual color with a formula that I don't really care for. I'm just not really here for it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's it for the lipsticks. But you know, um, if you were going to try out one of the lipsticks, I would highly suggest the one that's on my lips right now. It's the last one that I tried and it's the one that I can see myself wearing again. And for the lip glosses, I'm here for all of them. All of them even though I know that there are two that I'll probably wear more than the other ones I'm here for the lip glosses so that is it for this video I hope seeing these on my face and hearing some of my thoughts it's helped in your decision whether or not you're gonna try these out for yourself make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching and I will see you on the next one bye